Welcome back to the channel and today uh, this video we're just looking at taking the Bradleys and the BMP3s off the rulers that we sprayed them on and that was the primer and the after the prep work was done so um, just gotta be careful because these barrels on the Bradleys and the BMPs are really small and they're just if you're using double sided tape like, tape like I've used they bend really easy so just gotta be careful so this is I just remove them lift them up and they stick down pretty well and then I'll get once I get them off and then I get a get one of the barrels off I'll grab a little bit of blue tack just and it's just a just a tiny piece um, like that and then I just place that inside where the hole is on on the model and then i put the turret on and the reason i do that is because i want to paint them all together at the same time and i just push that down as in i want to paint the turrets and the body of the vehicles together and once i've done that i grab one of these little paint tins and i'll stick them on there with the double-sided tape on it and I'll base four vehicles and the rest I'll paint off camera but um, it'll be the same process so get that body off get that turret off and the reason I use blue tack is I want to um, be able to turn the turrets so a little bit of blue tack just holds it in position for getting that consistency in painting across the whole model And you know you you don't need much blue tech just a drop. And basing on one of those bases. So I've got yeah the six there that are going to be I guess the off camera builds. And if they do get a little bit stuck, I just get a toothpick and. I'll just place it underneath it and just sort of work my way around it. The idea is not to scratch any of that paint that we've got on there already. And we're trying not to bend that that barrel. So the underside of that hasn't been painted, but we can touch that up later. And we'll get this other one off. The reason I like to, to mount the turrets pretty much straight away is um, they're small you can lose them um, and once you drop one if you can't find it yeah you know, just yeah save yourself the headache you see there that the body of this uh, the bottom of the turret of this vehicle will need touching up so we'll, we'll do that as we go as we start to to paint them all right so we've got got our BMP3s based and our two Bradleys and the rest we'll do off camera so there's five of each and the next step in the process for me is I'm going to paint these gun barrels um, for the 25 millimeter chain gun and the 30 mil auto cannon and I'm using German grey so um, as always I have a pallet off to the side put a little bit of water in there and the brush I'll be using is a zero. And most gun barrels will be a greyish sort of silvery colour and that's because they just get so hot when they fire.
Now with the BMP3 is the main gun. You can see there's a little bit of flash in there. We'll have to tidy that up. Um, and that's 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 why prepping the models is so important because there is a tiny piece of flash in there, and I've just managed to remove it, remove that, and I've chip that barrel a little bit but we'll tidy that up as we go along the the BMP3 is interesting because the uh, 30 millimeter auto cannons actually not painted and the 100 millimeter gun is so we just put a little bit of Paint on that gun, on that um, auto cannon, and leave the 100 millimeter gun. That's the same there. I didn't notice that. My apologies. But you see, there's that little bit of flashing on that barrel. Just cut that away. You can leave the you can leave the barrels off. If you want to paint them uh, separately. You can leave the uh, turrets off. Sorry, and paint them separately. But I'll continue to just paint along the the others, which are the the ones off camera. I'm doing four, so we can sort of keep the videos fairly short. But that's the first step into starting to get some color on these models. And um, thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoy the video.